Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today is Tuesday, which is my art around the world, and it is the last Tuesday of August, which means we are finishing up on Botswana, and I wanted to talk about a really specific place. Now, there is a slideshow put together by the African World Heritage Site, and all these photographs are by a gentleman by the name of Peter Howard. So I just want to recognize his wonderful photography and all the work and everything he's done for this. So this is going to play while I discuss <laughs> what we're talking about here. Now there is a place called Tostillo Hills and this is located in the very northwestern corner of Botswana and it is considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And this place is just amazing. So basically it's rock art, rock shelters, there's depressions, there's caves. Um, it became a World Heritage Site in 2001 because of its very unique religious and spiritual significance to the local people. And anybody can go there. And they believe that there's about an estimate of 4,500 paintings, rock paintings, at this site, which are from multiple generations and multiple groups of people over a huge span of time. So there are four sort of main hills in this area, and one of them is the highest point in Botswana, and there's a campsite between the two largest hills if folks want to camp there. I believe that there is a um, sort of a runway nearby. It's very, very cool. So archaeologists um, have gone and spent much, <laughs> so much time here trying to figure out the estimates at which all this art was created. And they believe that there's about 500 individual sites and it represents about thousands of years of human um, habitation. So these hills and rocks have been linked to local hunters and gatherers, and it's just really, really cool. There's evidence of Bantu people, of sand people. Um, there's a cave called Rhino Cave, and that one has white rhino paintings. And they've found all kinds of really interesting things. They found charcoal there. They found ostrich eggs, artifacts, pottery, iron. There's so many, many really cool things they have found. Here are some giraffe illustrations. Um, the white paintings, they believe, are from the Bantu people. And they are located on one of the hills named Male Hill. There's a female hill. There's a child hill. Um, there's red paintings, and these paintings typically depict animals, wild animals, domestic animals. There's humans, there's like stick figures of people, and some of them kind of had their hands on their hips, and some of the people illustrated are on horseback. So they think the ones from horseback, because they know when horses came to Botswana, those are from the mid-1800s. So they're able to kind of date those by those illustrations, which I think is very, very amazing. Um, they've found some other like newer historical things. They went down a few layers and they found like nylon buttons and European glass beads. Um, it's There's so much stuff to look at. So the Rhino Cave has the red paintings and those seem to be the oldest paintings and those are linked to the sand people and the sand people they're also called bushmen and those are sort of um, indigenous hunter-gatherer cultures from the southern african region so um, there's depressions, there's rock shelter sites, there's lots of metallurgy. They've found so much stuff here. And anybody can go and hang out and look at some of the oldest cave art and illustrations that there are to look at. 
And I think that's just absolutely amazing. I think being able to do this and seeing how far people have come, see this, this is the white painting right here. Um, so they think that some of the newest stuff is from about 70, 80 years ago. And the oldest stuff, oh, there's arguments <laughs> between folks. So they think as early as 24,000 years before present day are some of the oldest ones. Um, so the cultural significance is to the San people and the Kalahari. And these hills sort of represent a place for the spirits of the deceased. And these spirits will cause misfortune and bad luck if anyone hurts or causes death near these hills. So these are a very sacred uh, location. And there's oral traditions wrapped up with this, with these um, painted caves and these rock shelters um, that belong to the zoo people and the sand people. Um, one of the tales claims that hunters would come into the rock shelters to contact ancestors if a hunt was unsuccessful. And then they could ask for a good hunt the next time they go out. And in thanks when the hunt was successful, the people would return to the shelter and cook for their ancestors. And in some of these alleged campsites, there is... Um, they haven't really found evidence of fire remains, but that's one of the stories. So... There are sort of ritual and rain-making prayers performed. Um, older people can still remember using some rock shelters as campsites when they were kids, which I think is absolutely fascinating. Um, so the local sand people believe that the, the Tostado is the birthplace of all life, and the art there made by the descendants is made by the very first people. So... I think that's just wild um, and a very, very cool sort of origin story for this region, which I love origin stories. So um, there is a natural water spring in this area near Female Hill, and it's used for water collection and a, site, a ritual site. And it's seen as sacred and used by countless people to cleanse, heal, and protect. And here are the rhino paintings um so yeah i just wanted to share this with you sort of the oldest known art of the botswana area here's a rhino and i absolutely love the horn i think that's just fantastic um it's nice to see where they're at it's lovely to see where it kind of began i think that this is wonderful that people can still go and view this and walk up to this and take photographs and really, you know, sort of respect the long-standing art history of this location and of the people that made this beautiful art. I, I just, it's such an incredible thing. And there's like middle stone age dating on some of this stuff that is absolutely fascinating. I'm going to link some other things with this video. I'm going to link some, if you want to hear some music from Botswanan creators and artists, I will link some music. Um, I can't play it on the video just because of copyrights, but I want to link some stuff like that too, because that's also a wonderful art. Anyway, I will link this page that has this full slideshow with all these photographs because they're just incredible. And I think they're such a really good way to view and see this site is from how people travel and show up here. And there's so many web pages about these rock paintings. If you want to see more of them, um, the, there's a local little museum there that has tons of information. Oh, I love him, he's fantastic. I would love to go someday. This would be an absolute dream vacation. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.